Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on this mathematical statistic solutions. In this lecture, we will see what how you can solve the question number one, two, three, and four, which was asked in this IIT JAM mathematical statistics. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Sapir Institute, India. You can simply follow this link if you find to find another videos related to their answer PhD. So the first question which was asked in the IIT JAM is here. So how you can solve them? This is up to the limits are there. That's a very, very simple are there. So what you can do is you can simply take A as of this. If I consider this as a A, now here you can write this A as of limit n approaches infinity. I can put as a say K is equal to 1, 2, N. I can take as of the product sides B. Now you can see this is the part. Now how you can product them? It's very difficult to put the limit as uh, product. So how you can do that? You can simply take as a logarithm on the both side. So what is the logarithm of their product? This is nothing but my sum of them. So that is nothing but my this logarithm of 1 plus k by n. So what is the power is that will become outside are there. So now it varies from k is 1 to infinity. Now how you can solve that? That's again very simple. Now it's a sum are there. It's a infinite. So you can use them as a integration. So how you can do that? This is from this is we can take as a if I consider as x as a my k by n what is the value of the dx this is 1 by k uh, uh, 1 by n of the dk that is 1 by n is here so it means this is nothing but my 1 plus x of the dx are there so if I can so what is the limits are there this is nothing but my 1 by n2 what is that this is limit from the n so what is that this is n by n is 1 but once you will take n as infinity so what is that this is nothing but my zero so how you can integrate them that's a very simple you can simply integrate them as by parts this is my here minus of x sorry this is x upon x plus one of dx so what is the answer of this this is the integration of here minus x this is plus log of one plus x so what is the answer of this is x plus one log of one plus x minus of x so you can put the limit as from the zero to 1. So what is that? This is 1 plus 1 is 2 log of 2 minus 1. 0 it will be 1 log of 1 is 0 it will be 0. So what is that? Now you have to write this. So this is I can write as a log of 4. I can write 1 in the terms of the e. So what is that? This is nothing but my log of 4 by e. So on the ref, left hand side this is a log of a. So but we need the answer of the a. So the answer is my 4 by e is the right answer. Look at the another one is uh, which of the following statement is true that is either 1 1 2 2 and so on. So that's a very simple uh, all of you know that what is that when the function is to be the on to. So you have to take the elements from here and check whether it's belong to them or not. What is that this is from minus infinity to here. This is from minus infinity to here. So what will happen if I take x as a minus infinity what is the value of the fx. It will be minus infinity raised to power, min raised to power 7 that will be minus infinity if you take s x as a plus infinity it's infinity infinity so it will be as a infinity so that means it is a r so that means here is r therefore f is my on to so it means either this option is correct or this option is correct so it means this and this option are discard now how you check that whether it's a one one that's again very simple how you can prove that it's a one one that means you have to prove that it's an increasing function how you prove that it's an increasing function? If you prove that derivative is a greater than 0 for all x. So calculate the derivative. What is that? This is 6x, sorry. This is 7x raised to power 6 plus 15x raised to power square plus 11. Now you can see this is the even. This is the even. This is always be greater than 0 for all x. What is the meaning of that? F is increasing. Once it is increasing, so what is the meaning of that? It is a my 1 1 function. So one, it is a 1 1 as well as on to both. So the right answer is A. Look at that. What is the limit of this? So if you substitute x as a 0, what is the numerator part are there? So e raised power 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 upon 5 cos 0 is 1. So that's a 0 by 0 form. So what is the meaning of that? You have to apply the L operator rule are there. So that is here. If you apply this here plus 4. What is the cos integration is my minus of sine. So the uh, derivative is here. Now if you apply again as a x approaches 0. So it will be my minus of 3. It will be minus 1. This is plus 1 upon 0. Again 0 by 0 are there. So again you have to apply the 
एल ऑपरेटर रूल्स आर दे दिस इज नाइन ई रेस पावर माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस ई रेस पावर एक्स अपॉन फाइव ऑफ कोस एक्स नाउ यू कैन अप्लाई एक्स एज ए जीरो इट विल बी नाइन माइनस वन अपॉन फाइव सो दैट आंसर इज एट बाई फाइव इज द राइट आंसर लुक एट द लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो फाइंड द लिमिट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस आर देयर नाउ दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आर देयर सो वट यू कैन डू इज दैट दैट्स दैट्स अ ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन आर देयर हाउ यू कैन डू दैट सो डू यू थिंक एनी ऑफ दिस एनी ऑफ द मैथमेटिकल और एनी ऑफ द स्टेटिस्टिकल टर्म विच इज रिलेटेड टू दिस फैक्टोरियल दिस इज वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज हेयर नाउ हाउ यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दैट दिस इज येस यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस इज अ बाइनोमेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन भी सो इफ आई राइट दिस एज ए बाइनोमेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन how you can write this i can write this as of here can i write like this way now can you say this is the binomial distribution like say what is the binomial distribution is ncx p raised to power x and q raised to power n minus x so you can see that this is ncx p raised to power this is my q this is my p so you can see that this is nothing but here so what is the meaning of that it means if i consider as x are there so it follows my binomial distribution with the mean with the parameter is n is my here probability is my 2p so therefore therefore what is the meaning of now you have to apply this n of infinity what is the meaning of the n infinity are there so i always talk you every times whenever there is an infinity you have to apply the center limit theorem so whenever there is a center limit theorem you have to calculate the mean you have to calculate the variance of this what is the mean of this is np you always that in the binomial case mean is np variance is n p q so what is that this is n what is the variance is this is n by 2 so therefore what is the required target of that since you need the values up to the n so our target is up to the here because what is the value of the x in the case of the binomial distribution here now whenever n is infinity since n is very large so then all of you know that whenever n is infinity then binomial distribution is converges to the normal distribution as n approaches infinity so you have to convert this into the z x minus what is the mean is minus of n this will be here zero now you can divide it both side by the variance this is n by 2 this is n by 2 so what is that this is z less than or equal to zero what is the meaning of that this is nothing but my phi of zero what is the probability of the phi of zero in the case of normal distribution that is nothing but my half so the right answer is here so always remember that whenever n approaches infinity you have to apply the clt provided you have to find some probability distribution function so this is the way you can solve these four question in a very simple manner next lecture we will see more questions on the uh, iit jam 2021 mathematical statistics are there till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning